Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a combat guide for Chivalry 2, and maybe you're new to the game, maybe you're a returning player and you're just trying to get back into the game. Either way, stick around, this guide is strictly for you guys, and you know, there's a lot of different topics I'd like to talk about. Um, you know, initiation, stamina management, reposting, countering, all that good stuff. Um, so we'll end up breaking up all of these different techniques down into separate videos, um, but today's focus is mainly going to be about swing manipulation, okay? That is the acceleration or deceleration of your attacks okay and I mean this swing sw swing manipulation is essential <clears throat> at the highest level of chivalry um, and you know if your goal is to contend with the best players in the game you know whether that be on the field in a duel arena whatever it is uh, and then you're you know you're gonna absolutely need to learn this and apply it to your gameplay Alrighty guys, so what is swing manipulation? So essentially what we're doing is we're speeding up our attack, or we're, you know, delaying it so that we can hit our opponent, throw off their timing, get quick, easy kills, right? So a standard attack, most people are just staring at this guy, like this tutorial is saying, slash, 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 right? They're going like this, and you know, that's not... That's okay, maybe for like one hit, but at a certain point, you have to accelerate stuff. You have to delay things, especially against the better players of this game. You know, you probably have come across people who just seem untouchable, and it's just because they have these things down. You know, they have them down to like the wire. So if we want to accelerate, we're going to slash like this. But this time, I'm going to slash and turn into the swing and look this way, okay? So this is an acceleration, right? Now, the tutorial does explain that, but we can also start by looking this direction and also slash. See how fast that's hitting? It's almost instant. It's way faster than going like this, right? There's like that extra little bit of delay, and that's just enough to get you killed. So we can do the reverse, right? I can delay it. So as I'm swinging, I'm going to start looking the opposite direction, right? Yeah! See how much longer that takes to get to them, and I can even delay it even further if I do a heavy attack. So, yeah. start going like that, and it takes forever to get to them. These are the kind of mix-ups you guys need to be doing. Um, you can do it with stabs, you can do it with overheads, it doesn't matter. So, for example, overhead, right? Regular overhead. If I want to delay that, I can look up into the sky. See how long that took? And if I really want to accelerate it, I can actually look at the floor, and I can even crouch while I'm doing that to, for it to be even faster. So all these things, they'll, they'll get you more kills if you guys just practice this. And I know it's easy to do, like here, with like an NPC that's not moving. Um, so you're going to have to throw yourself into like the dual yard, um, or into the game, just so you kind of get that built into your muscle memory. Um, but, you know, you get, yeah. So that's what swing manipulation is. Alrighty, guys. So I am in a 1v1 arena. This guy is level 15, but I just want to show you, like, you know, these guys don't do swing manipulation. They just swing their sword like the tutorial says right so and i know he's new but he's literally just spamming attacks see there, that's literally what the tutorial tells you to do it tells you to do slash 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 so if i do a couple good delayed swings on this guy he's gonna die right so i accelerated a heavy right now i'm gonna do a fake wow okay so he he did a stab that's good that was good and just like i said if you just do the swing manipulation these guys will fall like flies. This is a level 1000 player, it's Dane Jarris. I'm sure a lot of you guys know who this is, but this guy is absolutely insane. You know, he, he has incredibly good footwork, he's really good at doing all types of drags, accelerated, decelerated, and you know, against people like this, these guys are the top. You know, you, you can't mess up um, at any step along the way with these guys. And I just want you to watch the difference in this and just see, you know, the types of drags that I do, that he does, and just see, you know, the kind of things that we're doing to try to get any little edge we can over each other, right? So immediately, I go for the drag, right? I do it again. And he goes for the overhead feint into another one, and I get punished for it pretty bad. My health's at half now. All right. Someone gets in the way. I read that, okay? I accelerated a heavy, he hits me, I go jab, he jabs back, misses a kick, and right there, see, so he's actually really smart, and he would have probably might have gotten away if somebody hadn't been in the way there, but basically right here, right, he jabs me, he goes back, you know, he wants initiation back, he dashes away, goes for the kick, 
I also am nowhere near him, unfortunately, right? And I go in right here for that accelerated uh, swing with the Highlander sword, and he realizes this. And, you know, he tries to get away, but unfortunately for him, uh, it's not enough. <laughs> and I do catch him, and he, he meets his demise, right? So just right there. But you can see um, the amount of times that this guy uh, did the, his heavy drags on me, especially right here, right? So... That that was really delayed, and it was a heavy. He fainted a uh, slash into a heavy, and you're probably looking up into the sky for that one. But it took me to half health, and you know any little thing you can get over people uh, in this game, it you you gotta go for it. Alrighty, guys. So that concludes the rest of this video. Hopefully, it was helpful for you, and I hope that the way I explained things kind of made sense. But just keep in mind, again, every weapon, right? They're all different. They all have different ranges. Uh, these kind of things you'll have to figure out for yourself. Maybe hop into a duel arena, a one v one arena, um, or even just play the game, right? You know, you just to kind of figure out what the limits of each weapon are, you know. And especially with heavy weapons, you're gonna have to learn how to uh, accelerate your attacks if you want to win fights. And I trust. Trust me, if you, once you get these techniques down, guys, you will get way more kills and probably have a lot more fun, too, especially in the 64 mixed player modes. Um, but if there is anything that you have to say, leave a comment, please. If there's anything you disagree with with what I said, let me know. Um, other than that, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.